Hey everyone, in this quick video I'm going to show you how to make a block placing animation. So I have a simple scene where the character is moving his hand up and down. And then let's say I want another cobblestone to spawn in front of this cobblestone, on top of this cobblestone. So when the character moves his hand down, I want the cobblestone to spawn, to pop up, basically like you do in the game. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make this block placing or a building animation, so let's jump right in. I'm quickly going to fix this hand, I want the hand to be somewhere over here. And by the way, I already have one cobblestone imported using the MC Prep. I have this BPS Drake version 4. I will leave a link for the BPS Drake and the MC Prep in the description. I also have the auto keyframing turned on. And make sure when you turn on auto keyframing, you choose here location, rotation, and scale. And then turn on this button. By default, it should be gray, but if you turn it on, it should be blue. And I already have my character's hand animated. And let's say on this frame, which for me is frame 20, and I'm using 30 FPS. So let's say on frame 20, I want another cobblestone to spawn. So first thing I'm going to do, I can either shift D and duplicate this or let's do it from the scratch as some of you haven't seen how I set up the C. So I clicked on N and I have the MC prep add-on installed. Again, the link will be in the description. I went down to the block spawner and I typed cobblestone. So if you type cobblestone, you can see the cobblestone over here in this menu and I'm going to click on place cobblestone. Now, the only problem with this is the origin point. If you can see the small orange dot is down here and I don't want this to be down here. So what I can do is I can do the right click, or I think for some of you might be W, I'm not sure. But I'm going to do the right click, set origin, and then origin to geometry. And by the way, I'm going to turn on the screencast keys as well. So again, what I did is I right click, set origin, and then origin to geometry. And this is going to move the origin right in the center of the cobblestone. So another thing I want to do is click on Alt G. And then another thing I want to do is I don't want this to be sitting right here so i can click on g and then use control to snap the movement but the only problem is it's going to move it in the direction which we don't want so if i press on g and then control and move it down it's going to clip through if i press g control move it up it's not going to be placed properly i want it to be somewhere over here but to be precise i can click on one to go to the front view and i can again press g control Press on G and then hold control and then this is going to move on small increments. And now our block is going to be placed exactly on top of the first cobblestone. So let's watch our animation and then on frame 20 this cobblestone is supposed to appear. So as you can see I already have my auto keyframe turned on and when I man manipulated this cobblestone it already changed the keyframes. But still while we're on the last frame where the character finished the movement. So in this case it's frame 20 I'm going to press on I. To set a keyframe for this cobblestone and then i'm gonna go back about two or three frames let's see one two three i think three should be enough but we can change it later and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press on s and then on my keyboard on top of my keyboard i'm gonna press on zero so again i press on s and then type zero and then i press on enter to confirm now if i watch my animation from start to finish you can see the block appears out of nowhere but another detail i can add is before Steve places the block, I can have Steve hold a small block. So what I mean by that is I can select the first cobblestone. I can turn off the auto keyframing because I'm not going to need it. I can press on shift D, duplicate it and then move it up freely, scale it down maybe. And then let's place the cobblestone in front of Steve. And let's scale it down even more so that it's not clipping on the first cobblestone. And then let's quickly select the character. I'm already in a pose mode. And by the way, I have disabled this lock object mode, which means I can select items while I'm in the pose mode. So I'm in the pose mode and then I can shift and then select this cobblestone as well. So let's first select the cobblestone and then shift and then select the characters R. And then I'm going to click on control P and then choose bone, which means I parented my object to the bone. So another thing I want to do is Steve is moving his end up and then down and then as you remember, we set a keyframe on frame 17 for this cobblestone to reappear. So this cobblestone, let me see. Yeah, we have the keyframe set on 17. So you can also set a keyframe for this cobblestone as well, but we're going to do the opposite. So I'm going to turn on the auto keyframing, press on I on frame 17, go forward on frame 20, and then press on S. I'm going to hide this so you can see it better. And then I'm going to press on H. And then on this cobblestone, I'm going to press an S and then type 0, which means we scaled it down. So if you watch our animation, I'm going to unhide the second cube, apologies. 
So if we watch our animation, this cobblestone scales down and this cobblestone scales up. And then we have this block placing animation. So again, I can set my end frame on 20 and then we can rewatch our small animation. As you can see, it's pretty simple to do. So you just only need to animate the scale of this keyframe of this objects, maybe some location and that's it. So here you can polish your animation. I only animated the character's head. I did, didn't do anything fancy because I wanted to make this tutorial very quick. So some of you might already know this, but since I had a lot of questions about it, I decided to do a quick tutorial about it. I'm maybe going to extend this because it's not a looping animation. And as you can see, it's that easy to me make a block placing animation. And then you can maybe move the character back forward and do the simple building animation. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. And I actually have another animation tutorial on my channel. If some of you want to know how to break blocks instead of building blocks, then you could check out this video right here. And also be sure to subscribe because I make more and more tutorials like this. And sometimes I make my own animations as well on this channel. So yeah, like the video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.